this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default! Since last time, I've rearranged my setup as I have listed in the video description there. I didn't want to show it last time because I didn't want to spoil my plans here. But basically, the crux of the setup is to have three Lambent Hats and one Ogre's Club distributed to my four party members here. And that will barely allow me to get through the next part here. There is, or there, yeah, there is one thing that I need to buy. Or, well, there are a bunch of things that I need to buy. Let's see, I need Zeus's Wrath. So, let's see, I need 15 total. Let's see, eh, let's go for 16, just to keep one in my inventory in case I forget later at some point, because I will be wanting to buy more of those eventually. But for now, let's continue upward and see if we can find that recipe for the Toxic Mist. Uh-oh. What's that? Sweet music to my ears! An alarm. Watch out. We have company. Well, either that, or it's a really fat guy on a microphone going, Row! 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 For boss time against the automatons! And these guys will kill you if you don't kill them first. And, you know what, let's show off what would happen if I were not properly prepared for this boss fight. So I can show you what these guys will do to you. I don't want to defend because that would allow me to live longer. But yeah, these guys deal massive physical damage to your entire party. Wow, that's even worse than usual. They do have single targeting attacks. But yeah. So yeah, we got time slip. That's a passive ability of the Time Mage job class that, uh, well, yeah, restarts the battle from the beginning, but it only works once. Although, that was really just a coincidence here. I was already working on the job class anyway, but okay. So with these automatons, what I want to do is, well, they're robots. Guess what element they're weak to? If you say fire, I'm gonna hit you. Now, they are weak to thunder, and I need exactly 15 Zeus's Wraths in order to take them out before they kill me. So with the three Lambent Tats and the one Ogre's Club, that'll barely give me enough damage to kill all of them. And fortunately, items deal fixed damage, although they get modified by my equipment, and I will barely deal enough damage to kill them. If Tiz can get his turn so that I can, yeah, show, yeah, they got 13,500 HP, and with all the Zeus's Wraths I'll be tossing, I should deal about 13,600 damage. So, yeah, I've really micromanaged the setup here, but if you do that, 15 Zeus's Wraths, boom! Easy enough. Well, at least we got the sweeper bonus, although I missed the flawless victory bonus, or whatever that one was called. But at least we get a ton of JP here. Woo! Stop immunity! That's a really good passive ability, because it's one of the very few ways the game gives you to deal with the stop status. You can't cure it, I don't think, unless there's like a special move that can do that. I think there's a special move part whatever, that can... What was it? There's a special move part, I think, that can increase your resistance to it. But, yeah, stop immunity. I'm gonna want to get that for everyone eventually, but not right now. The stop status is just really annoying to deal with against certain bosses. Alright, let's get this back to Commander Goodman. Alright! Alright! Well, that's all our business here, so let me see. Uh, I want to take a moment to... Well, let me see. How's uh, Anya's doing there? Let's see. Yeah, she's still got a ways to go. I only need to get her up to Time Mage level 8 to get access to level 4 Time Magic, if I recall correctly. Unlike the white and black magic, which require level 9. 
Uh, let me see. Did I do that with... Oh, okay. I forgot that I actually had done that, but... Okay. Well, let me see. I want to take a moment to rearrange my setup here back to the way I had it before, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and, well, looks like we've got something going on. Um, uh, just some more items, but expotions are pretty good. Those are uh, a little pricey at this point, if I recall correctly. I could buy them from the adventurer, but I don't want to risk walking around here and running into more enemies. So, let's just yeah, teleport, get out of here, and head on back to Eisen Bridge. We have to go around the front of the bridge, though. And there's that chest you might have seen on the mini-map there. That was the blue chest that we can't get yet. But yeah, you can't go around the back side of the bridge to get back to the shield bearers. Why the sword bearers don't just walk around here, I don't know. Did I turn off the encounter rate again? No, no, it's still good. I'm just paranoid. Now that we're fighting somewhat easier enemies on the way back, I'm going to try and rack up some more kills for Tiz there to build up his special move with the axes. This is what caused the toxic mist? So it was not magic, but an alchemical concoction. Yeah, I suppose that's more of a chemical warfare than a biological weapon, but yeah, okay. I was just thinking it was a biological weapon because of, uh, well, the guy was a sav maker, like a doctor of sorts in a way. We are in your debt. I'll have our physicians start researching how to make a neutralizing agent. Sounds like a plan. Wait, would you consider destroying that sample now? Then how would they create a cure for it? On yes. I understand the need for a cure for the poison, but I would like you to dispose of that sample. Find a method that ensures it can never again be used. You could incinerate it in the lava. Well, couldn't, uh, was it Kata just make more of it? Yes, I see. If there is no danger, the toxic mist will be used again. Then we have no need to neutralize it. Oh. Well, okay! That would also remove the temptation to use the sample to turn the tables on our enemy. Oh. Yeah, that's true. I do not have the resolve to say with full confidence that we could prevail without it. Well, at least Anyas is back to caring about people again. Therefore, I will gladly do as you ask, Windvestal. Let us throw this master sample into the lava. Yeah, she doesn't... Or she didn't stay in a bad mood that long. I thank you for accommodating my request. I am happy that my words fell on wise ears. Aww. Commander Goodman, we have trouble! What's the worst that could possibly be happening? What's wrong? It's the enemy. They've launched a full-scale assault! Through the door that you left wide open behind us! Or across the bridge. One of the two. Not. They attack with tremendous force. Well, yeah, they're cannons. We may not be able to hold the line if they keep this up. Not. You seemed okay up to now, though. What happened? They have begun using mithril ammunition. Oh. Isn't silver a relatively soft metal? I don't know. I'm an engineer, not a metallurgist. Or whoever studies metals. Mithril? Nuts. About a year ago, the enemy captured the mithril mine we were working. There was something in my journal about that, come to think of it. Let's see. I hear it. Oh, right. Mithril. It's a made-up thing. Not, like, literal silver in real life. Mithril is a hard metal refined from mithril ore, mined in Eisenberg. Over 80% of all mithril in the world is mined in Eisenberg, where it is said precious orichalcum has also been found. Hmm. I would think that would, like, precious gems and metals would be where the earth crystal is, not fire. Orichalcum is a precious metal unique to Eisenberg and the hardest material in the known world. Harder than adamantium? It can be used to produce weapons and armor of the highest strength, and it releases great energy when melted at high pressure. That's... 
We tried to recapture the mine, but the sword bearers had put children to work down there. Children? To do what? Yes. I'm sure you've heard tales of canaries being taken into mines as an early warning for dangerous gases. Wait a minute, are we talking about birds or human children? Well, the sword bearers call the children they've abducted and forced into hard labor canary boys. Why? When we tried to rescue the children, those cowards used them as human shields and barricaded themselves inside. Um, okay, what are they gonna do? Using these canary boys to warn of danger? I cannot believe the Black Blades would stoop to such tactics. Well, they already committed mass murder with chemical weapons. Uh, child slavery isn't that far off the mark. It's despicable. Let them get away with it. We must do something to save the children. Think of the children, somebody. What are we waiting for then? Let's take back the mithril mine. But didn't he say they were using the children as human shields? The mines are crawling with sword bear soldiers. It would be foolhardy to rush in without support. Even so, we must take action. But they'll use them as human shields. Whether we come or the sword bearers do? You can focus on retaking the mine. Are, are we just gonna forget about that? We'll rescue the children they're using down there. Yeah, pretty much. I don't see why they can't still use them as hostages, but okay. But before we could do that, we have more side quests. Yeah, the child slaves, they'll be fine. I wouldn't worry about him. What can I help you with? Well, let's see what we got going on here. I'll fill you in on what we know about the Black Blade mercenaries hired by the sword bearers. They have about 4,000 soldiers stationed in these lands. They are split into at least five units that we know of. Hmm. Well, let's see. We saw Kami Izumi and the four generals or whatever their ranks are. The first. A unit led by the Swordmaster, the commander of the Black Blades. They are powerful, elite troops. Next is the unit that conquered the East City using Toxic Mist. We are very aware of the danger they represent. Now well, that was Kata. They have not been seen in recent years, which is cause for concern. Then there is their naval force. They are rarely sighted in battle. Oh, well that's not really much of a navy. I don't think you can count ghosts as part of their army. Well, we have been fighting ghosts around here, so... But after the Temple of Fire was attacked, there were reports they made several attempts to approach it from the sea. We also believe that the Black Blades has a covert unit specializing in assassination. Well, that would be the ninja. Many shield bearer officers have been slain in the past four years. We think this unit was also responsible for killing the Fire Vestal. Nice. Last of all, there is the unit led by someone I care not to mention. Oh, how terrible could they possibly be? Huh? If you're around long enough, you'll learn all you need to know and more. Best to see for yourself. How powerful could they possibly be? What can I help you with? Well, we'll find out in a There's moment. There's a good reason that the lines of battle were drawn at this bridge. Couldn't they just easily work around to the gates to the left, or the east and the west? Three roads run north to south across this land. One each to the east and west of here, and this one in between. Wouldn't the other two be immensely easier to charge through since they're much larger? The central road that this bridge is built upon is wider than the paths to the east and west, and it serves as our main thoroughfare. I don't think so, but I'll pretend it's not drawn to scale. The colossal weaponry the Black Blades have given the sword bearers is too large to be hauled down any other road. Oh, okay. I see. So the enemy was forced to target this bridge to make use of it? Precisely. We made this bridge our last line of defense, and the main body of the shield bearers guards it. The sword bearers need to cross the bridge so they cannot attack it directly. This strategy results in the least casualties for our forces. But even if you halt the advance of their main contingent, 
wouldn't it be easy for smaller units to slip past by other routes? Oh, well, that's what I was saying. Correct. Small squads we are not aware of present more danger than the vast army we face before us. But pay no attention to that. What can I help you with? Uh, yeah, what were you talking about, that one unit? That you refuse to mention. What do you mean? The enemy forces attacking the bridge. Oh, I see. The shock troops led by that brassy young woman. Oh, is that the, the ninja? Our intelligence suggests she is a high-ranking member of the Black Blades. That girl is one of their officers? Which one? Don't underestimate her. She uses the power of song to bolster her soldiers and weaken ours. Oh, you mean like a, a bard, right? <laughs> the power of song? Yes. Her songs can be quite troublesome. How bad could they possibly be? All of our soldiers that hear her sing become confused. Oh. The sword bears bombard us from the opposite bank when they see us in disarray. That's... We've suffered great losses from these attacks. Songs that inspire allies and confuse the enemy. She must have quite a voice. I'd like to hear it myself sometime. Okay, ring a bell. You go first. So it doesn't bother you that she's a foe? I hope her honeyed tones send you tumbling off the bridge. <laughs> I have no ulterior motives, I swear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ring a bell. I believe you. So, if you silence this girl, would that swing the battle in your favor? Unfortunately, she is protected by a formidable force, and the narrow bridge makes it impossible to get close. I thought you said it was a wide bridge just a moment ago. Then, let us try. But, okay. Angel Tranny Flan, is that you? What a delightful surprise! You come all this way to hear me perform? Why, thank you! Uh, you're welcome? I am Praline Alamode! Prepare to be dazzled! And what's with. Is she wearing bunny ears? Go wild. Uh, and when you okay. see me dance, we go wild. Uh, uh okay. And get wild. Here we go. Love in the crossfire. Do your worst. We can take it. Oh no. Not that. Not J pop! Anything but that! Stop! Stop! What a sweet voice. She's enchanting. Make it stop! Somebody make it stop! Don't listen to her. She'll mess with your head. Too late! Run away! They're strong! Don't they feel any pain? Nothing seems to face them. Run away! Okay, everybody. Time to back up a bit. Oh. The time is nigh to blow the sky high. You're gonna attack the bridge with your cannons? Uh oh. We need to pull back now, or we'll be obliterated. That doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. I mean, you want to keep the bridge intact, don't you? I'm afraid we weren't able to break through. <sighs> you barely survived that one. Holy cow. If it is beyond even you, then we are out of options. Nuts. Don't you have any cannons of your own? If only we could shut her up. If only. 
If only there were an item that would let us shut her up. But sadly, we don't have one. Okay. Well, we get a little more items there. Awesome. Okay, so can we do anything? Let's see. Oh, hey, there's a blue exclamation point by Grandship. I wonder what that's doing there. Well, let's check it out. Let's head on over there. Why not? Not really sure how that's relevant, but we need to go back there. Yeah, we're gonna need some help to take on Praline. Holy cow. How did they replace the bard with a J-pop dancer? Uh, how could they do that? Are they insane? Let's see, do these guys have anything new to say? Something you want to ask? Let's see. No, not oh. there. I think uh, one. I think one of you guys was saying something that these guys say something different after taking out Barbarossa. What's up? Oh, okay. I guess they don't say anything. Or maybe that was before clearing the boss fight that I just got through. I, I don't know. But for now, we need to go back to Grand Ship if you want to take out Praline. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of backtracking to do for this side quest, but fortunately the oceans are fairly quick to navigate. Well, let's see what we got going on over here. Hey, have you ever heard of the siren song? Yes! I have. A strange voice you hear out at sea, right? Oh, oh, uh, th uh, that one, right. Sailors who hear the song become captivated by it and throw themselves overboard. It's a common tale. That doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. That's right. The siren song that causes all to cast themselves into the sea. To what end? When I was even younger than you are now, there was a time it was heard throughout the whole ship. Oh, really? A siren song? Was everyone okay? It caused great panic among young and old. Nice. But a traveling bard who happened to be aboard said something that calmed everyone down. All you have to do is sing above the siren's voice. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant! He conducted us in song with his baton all night long. And the siren was defeated. Is that like a wind waker? Wow. Nah, that's another That's game. quite a story. Where did the bard go? Uh, who knows? He set off again soon after. One of the elders here might know. Hmm. Okay, well, let's take a look around. Let's see. Are you the guy we're looking for? Oh, really? Well, I haven't heard of any of them. Ah. Not so a dead end, huh? Hmm. Okay, well, maybe we should check that out. More items? Hey, all right. Wow, I'm just getting lots of items today. As long as we're back here at uh, Grand Ship here, I don't know why there was a blue exclamation point back there still. I think that was the only sequence trigger we needed to do here. Well, whatever. We need to head to end time. But as long as we're here, let me see. How much do we got? I think I'll have enough, or I'll be just barely short. Let's see, I want to get a second Rod of Ice, because that'll stack with the existing one that I've got. And there will be times when I want to dual wield those. And let's see, yeah, I need just a little more money. Let me see if I got any extras here. Oh yeah, we got that extra scimitar there. Okay, we got that. And then, I'm not going to use them right away, but sooner or later, I'll want to use more Hermes sandals there. So, that'll take care of that and that's the only place we can get them so that's why I waited until now to buy them because well as you can see they cost a lot so I wanted to wait until the plot took us back here by which time I have the money to get everything that I wanted to get but can we find an item to stop pra Praline's torture? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default this is a Bailey signing off have a good day!